Good morning and welcome to the Lakeside Viking News. I'm Noah and it's Thursday, March 18th. Let's get right into your brief LHS announcements. Welcome back, class of 2021. Your senior class sponsors are working on some fun activities to close out the school year. A few reminders for you in the preparation for graduation. If you have not done so already, go to the class of 2021 Google Classroom and order your cap and gown. The deadline to purchase is this Friday, March 19th. And if you need help, reach out to one of your senior class sponsors, Ms. Tecla, Ms. Krieger, or Ms. Crawford. Also, whether you are virtual or face-to-face, -face, plan to attend a mandatory senior class meeting on Tuesday, March 23rd during advisement. At this meeting, we will discuss graduation and conduct a survey to get a better idea of what you would like to see as your senior year draws to a close. The Lakeside Beta Club will meet on the Beta Club team site on Wednesday, March 24th at 2 o'clock p.m. We will discuss upcoming points earning opportunities and members are very encouraged to attend. Attention juniors, we invite you to learn about the Posse program. Through its dynamic recruiting process, Posse identifies students for their leadership and academic potential. Students who are chosen as Posse scholars will travel as a Posse to one of Atlanta's partner colleges slash universities. Posse scholars receive full tuition scholarships, weekly faculty mentoring, and more support. Posse Atlanta partners with the following colleges slash universities, all of which are top in the country. Wow. It is a huge honor to be chosen as a Posse Scholar, and we encourage you to learn more about this amazing program at an informational online meeting on Wednesday, March 24th at 1 o'clock p.m. A representative from Posse Atlanta will be speaking at the meeting, and if you would like an invite to the team's meeting, please email Melissa Perlmutter, LHS Counselor, right here at this email address by Monday, March 22nd. Your junior year is a crucial academic period for college admissions. Take the stress out of the process by learning simple steps to the admission processes and plan to attend a special session called Junior Jumpstart. I know I will. On Wednesday, March 24th from 6 to 7 p.m. This online session will focus on what juniors need to accomplish and achieve in order to prepare for the college admissions process. You will learn something that you can really use. A link will be sent out soon to all families. And now, a moment of silence. Good. And now to Deanna with the news. What's up, Lakeside? I'm Deanna, and I'm back with the current events. A string of shootings at three massage parlors in the Atlanta area Tuesday left eight people dead. Six of them reported to be Asian women, raising concerns from public officials that the attacks are racially motivated against a backdrop of increased violence against Asian Americans nationwide. The shootings began at a parlor about 30 miles northwest of Atlanta, followed by two more at parlors in northeastern Atlanta. A 21-year-old suspect was taken into custody about 150 miles south of Atlanta on Tuesday night. Though authorities have said they're still investigating the motive, details of the horror are becoming clearer. The United States punished 24 Chinese officials on Wednesday for undermining Hong Kong's democratic freedoms. In diplomatic terms, the timing of the action was pointed and clearly intentional, acting days before the first scheduled meeting of senior Chinese and American diplomats since President Biden took office. The State Department announced they would impose financial sanctions on a raft of officials over an issue that Beijing has repeatedly said is an internal political matter. Earlier sanctions imposed by the Trump administration had barred the same officials from traveling to the U.S. and froze their assets in the country. President Biden, for the first time Tuesday, publicly endorsed changing the Senate's filibuster rules so if a senator wanted to block a bill, he or she would have to earn it. Senate Democrats, who narrowly lead the 50-50 chamber, would need every member of the caucus to change the filibuster rules, and several moderate Democrats opposed eliminating the filibuster rules altogether. And now to Ms. Murphy with our Thursday subject segment. Hey! Um, I'm Miss Murphy. I am a chemistry teacher at Lakeside High School and I'm going to do today's subject tip on dimensional analysis. Um, this is something we commonly use in the chemistry class. It is a great problem solving approach or approach to solving problems. Okay, so sit here with me and imagine you're going on a trip and you must drive 550 miles each way. Gas costs two forty-two per gallon. Your car gets twenty-eight miles per gallon. How much will you spend on gas? Now you could probably figure this out, but you need to show your work in a very nice and organized way. Um, so let's look at our approach. This is a perfect dimensional analysis problem. When solving a dimensional analysis problem, you always start with what you know, and this is what you know. You know that you must drive eleven hundred miles. What you are given is some conversion factors. 
right? 28 miles per gallon, which we have here, into $42 per gallon of gas, which we have here. What we need to know is how much we will spend on gas, all right? So we're going to start with what we know, which is that we need to drive 1,100 miles. We are then going to use our conversion factors and we're going to end up with the unit of money. So we will start, use, and end in this way. Let's get started. 1,100 miles, all right? In dimensional analysis, we use something called a T-chart. Our T-chart allows us to cancel our units. I want to cancel my miles unit. Since it is on top, I will write it on bottom because that way they will cancel. Because what is on top, if it is also on bottom, like a fraction, they, can they cancel in a simplification sort of way. I will look at what I need to use. And I will look for the unit of miles since what I have is miles. And here I see miles is related to gallons. So I'm going to write gallons here. And I'm gonna write what they have, 28 miles for every one gallon. That is a conversion factor and it allowed me to convert between miles and gallons. I will now draw another line. I now want to convert my unit that is gallons so I need to cancel my gallons unit, so I'll write it on bottom, All right? I'm going to look at the data I will use, and we'll look for the word gallons, and I see that here gallons is related to dollars. Well, that's great, because I need to end when I get to dollars. So let's put our dollars right here. And according to our conversion factor, for every one gallon, it is $2.42. So I'm now done with my gallons. I'm gonna clean this up and I'm going to press equals. And I have 1100 times 242, $2.42 divided by 28. If you do that, you will get $95. So you're gonna spend $95 on gas to go on this trip. So you might wanna think about that. That's dimensional analysis applied. We also do it in chemistry a lot too. You have a good day. Take care. Be good. Work hard. That's it for today's Lakeside Viking News. Have a thrilling Thursday and by all means, stay safe. I said it first.